Hey there everybody, it's Russ from Pathless Pedaled, and in this video we're excited to bring you a video first look at Ortlieb's bikepacking seat bag. So Ortlieb is definitely not new to bike touring and bike travel, but this is their first foray into the rackless bikepacking space. So some real basic facts about the bag, it weighs in at about 430 grams, so not the lightest seat bag out there, but part of that's due to the componentry that's used, a really high quality and a little bit more heavy duty. The bag itself, uh, they have a stated volume about 16.5 liters. This is a really big bag. Um, it's almost comical when you undo the back, it looks like a giant pelican mouth. This seat bag attaches to your seat post and seat rails, uh, really similarly to the other seat bags out there on the market. So nothing new there. So where this bag really separates itself is in all the componentry choices. All the buckles and straps are really high quality and super durable. The, the grade that you'd expect from an Ortlie bag. So the first third of the bag has a lot of stiffening material in there, so it really holds its shape and keeps your load off of your rear tire. On the top it has an elastic bungee cord that you can use to tie down extra layers. Another little cool feature on the seat bag is uh, on the back of the bag there are actually little slots where you can clip in a small blinky light. So one of the really cool and defining features of the seat bag is the air bleed valve. As you roll up the bag, it'll let air escape. So you don't have that problem of the bag just being full of air. The air will escape and you'll be able to compress your load really tightly. And of course, being Ortlieb, the bag is 100% waterproof. You don't need extra mini dry bags to put in your bag to keep things dry. You just roll it up, set it, and forget it. One of the things that I personally love about the seat bag is I can actually use it. I tend to ride small frames anywhere between uh, 50 to 52 and other seat bags I've tried I've always had problems with either not having enough seat posts for the bag to actually attach or the bags tend to slouch too much and I get tire rub on the bag. But with the Ortlieb you can get away with just 5 inches of seat post showing and about 7.5 inches between the, the rail of your saddle and the top of the tire. If there are any cons, the seat bag is a complete unit, so it's not one of the newer generation bags where there's a harness and a removable bag um, that slips in. If you want to take the seat bag off, you have to completely take it off. Another potential con is that it might be too big of a bag for some people. You do need to fill it about two thirds of the way full to get a really good closure with the straps and buckles. So we're really excited that Ortlieb is entering the bike packing market. They're gonna bring in their years of experience in creating panniers and apply it to this new style of bike travel. We're looking forward to taking this bag out on some trips this spring and summer uh, and really putting them through the paces. So look for a future video after we've taken on a few trips. If you guys have any questions about the seat bag or their other bike packing gear, leave those in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.